And welcome to another Wednesday Night Live. I'm Court Howell. And uh, tonight we have some exciting stories from Hollywood. That's uh, stories from the set when we were uh, shooting Mayberry Man the series in Los Angeles. And if you're not familiar with Mayberry Man and the history of Mayberry Man, it was, uh, of course, a, uh, a movie inspired by the Andy Griffith show. And, uh, you know, now we've spun it off into a series that's currently in production. So if you're new here, that's what this is all about. So, you know, if you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit subscribe and uh, join the many people who are here to, to just enjoy Mayberry, all things Mayberry and Wholesome Family Entertainment, which is uh, what our goal is. So I'm going to just jump right in. So we don't have guests tonight. Uh, we have guests uh, by video. So uh, I've got some... Uh, these are behind the scenes interviews and some behind the scenes footage during production that I think you'll enjoy. So let's get started. Action. I'm a professional cheese ball. Run say Mayberry Spirit on three. One, two, three, Mayberry Spirit. Spirit. Would you care for a, <laughs> a sandwich? <laughs> So in the new Mayberry Man series, it's really great because I get to play a filmmaker who's actually made it. He's got a three picture deal from a, a big studio. So I drive into the studio with my cherry red Porsche and believe it or not, Chris Hudson, my filmmaking partner and I run into Chris Stone. Chris Stone, Greg. Hey Greg, from Mayberry Fest. We get to invite him to my 12,000 square foot Tuscan mansion pool party. And uh, he comes because he's sort of down on his luck at the time, thinking about his, his life and his career and his lady. Here we are, my house, uh, Greg Shelster here. Decided to invite uh, my down and out friend, Chris Stone, otherwise known as Brett Varley. And we're here on the set of Mayberry Man, the series. And this is the pool party scene. And I'm always this tan, my teeth are always this white, and my personality is always this charming. We have a great time. We kind of, you know, party it up at my pool party, and then sort of at the end, I get my alone time with Chris Stone as we're, you know, sort of watching the sun fade into the uh, horizon, and I sort of give him my advice on women and life. I'm here trying to find some answers, and Greg Shelster over here, He's trying to provide me some help, some encouragement. Sure am. And uh, maybe, a, maybe a beverage or two as well. Yeah, he's here to drink and have a good time, so I'm going to get him a beer. Of course, I get one of my ladies to drink. We've come a long way since uh, since our days in Mayberry. That's true. You have, you especially. <laughs> I mean, look at my place. 12,000 square feet, baby. Three-picture deal. Tri-star pictures. Oh, that goes well with your tri-tip that's, that's uh, cooking in there. Oh, that's right. See, tri-star, tri-tip, I see what they did there. Yeah. So a lot of fun at the pool party. And, uh, you know, Greg Shell did a great job. Uh, he was, uh, I think he went in and uh, asked for the Donald Trump tan. Uh, so <laughs> he, he's, uh, he was very tan. Anyway, so um, let's move on. I've got uh, a... Let's go to the back lot of the uh, studio where we actually shot on a back lot. And uh, let's catch up with uh, the Floyd tribute artist, uh, Alan Newsom. Scene 52, take seven, pick up, A cam. Action. Oh, hold it, hold it, everyone, hold it, hold it, quiet, quiet, quiet. So in Mayberry Man the series, we pick up basically after Mayberry Man the movie. And we get to see what happens to these people in their real lives. Because in the, in the movie, we were Barney and Floyd, most of the movie. And in the series, you get to see what happens the day after the Mayberry Fest, where we all have to go back to work. And I'm the town manager, and Warren has a job uh, as well that uh, keeps him in uniform. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's really gonna be fun to see what these people really do in their real lives and how much like the characters they portray as Floyd and Barney, they, they really are. <laughs> Never expected to be in a movie or a TV series, period. Uh, the movie was all shot on location. And this experience is getting to actually come to a real studio and film on a back lot. Uh, it's, a, it's different. It's, it's just a different experience. Uh, more like you're, wow, we're, we're actually making a, a TV series here. So it's just a... <laughs> I'm an electrical engineer in my real life. Uh, 
I, this is not the kind of thing that uh, most electrical engineers do uh, and dress up like a barber. I'm pretty sure there's probably one person that does that, me. And uh, it's just been a, an amazing experience to be able to come out here and just see all these these uh, trailers and, uh, and the, the facades for the for this back line. And here I am walking down this same streets that uh, TV shows like SWAT and others have been filmed on. An electrical engineer from Alabama who dresses up like Ford the Barber for Mayberry events. How did this happen? <laughs> Um, so we set up for those interviews by the trailers that were not ours. We were a low budget production. Um, but uh, so I said to Alan, you know, let's get a shot of you like going up the steps, like you're going to go in the trailer. And uh, he went up there and just pulled on the door and it opened. And the next thing you know, I think uh, he and Rick Roberts, uh, you know, moved in. But um, but we had a lot of fun on the back lot that day. And uh, it was uh, it was a great time. And so here's another uh, message from uh, Ashley Elaine, who uh, was also excited about being on the back lot. So let's hear from her. Oh, this is really exciting. We get to shoot at Santa Clarita Studios in the back lot for Mayberry Man in the series, which is super fun. It just makes you feel like you're really filming something in Hollywood. For me, I'm most excited to see uh, the continuation of Kate's story. I feel like in the movie, a lot of uh, questions went unanswered about who she is. And now in the series, you get to see more of her life and all of her challenges that she'll encounter. And for her to really find out what she wants and who she is as a person. I love being a part of this project because for me, I only want to do wholesome family entertainment. And that's what this is. I can watch it with my whole family and my daughter, and I know that it's gonna just be good, clean fun. I just hope that everyone falls in love with this project like I did, and that we can continue to make family-friendly entertainment that's much needed in this world right now. So, um... Again, if, uh, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you hit subscribe. We're trying to build our subscriber base so that we can tell people about Mayberry Man. Um, but let's now, uh, I want to share some interviews with some true Mayberry, uh, Andy Griffith Show legacies. So the first person we're going to hear from is Laura Hagen. Now, Laura was married to um, Earl Hagen, who did the music, the whistle theme, and all the music for the Andy Griffith Show, and she's been super generous uh, to allow us to use the music from the Andy Griffith Show in the film and then now the series. So she's been a great uh, supporter of our project, and um, we even uh, found a part for her in the new series. So uh, let's hear from Laura Hagen. I am so delighted that you guys are doing this. Uh, it, my husband was the composer of the Andy Griffith theme, and I'm delighted to be part of the show. I played the director for Chris Stone's movie uh, in LA, and great fun. And being able to offer the music uh, for the project is just to my delight. I'm so happy to be able to do that. Watch Mayberry Man. <laughs> Don't miss it. And Laura's uh, support has been uh, really driven by her desire to uh, just keep awareness for Earl's music. I mean, his music was really incredible. Um, Dick Van Dyke show and uh, other shows of that era. Um, and it's just great sort of swing, big band, jazz kind of stuff. And uh, it was such a part of the Andy Griffith show. Um, and so we've tried to, to put that element into what we're doing. And she's been um, just so generous uh, with helping us with, do that. So, um, so another legacy involved in the project this time is uh, George Lindsay Jr. And uh, son of uh, George Lindsay, who played Goober, obviously. And um, he was supposed to be in the movie, but the COVID pandemic and all that, there were health issues, uh, concerns. Um, 
George wasn't sick, but there were issues uh, surrounding travel and all that kind of. We a lot of people that were supposed to participate weren't able to participate in the movie. But that's what's so great about the series is now they can be part of this. And so uh, George Lindsay Jr. has a part in the series. So let's hear from George. It's not the time to stop acting. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My connection to The Andy Griffith Show is my father played Goober Pyle on The Andy Griffith Show, George Lindsay Sr. And uh, it's this, it's a really neat experience to know that he played and that, you know, in, in the show and then I'm in the TV series. I wasn't in the movie because of COVID, but now I made it in the TV series, and so what a neat little circle of life. Uh, one ten apple, take one. It's just neat to be involved in something that's so wholesome. And, uh, you know, and everybody on the set is nice. Everybody treats everybody with kid gloves. And there's no, nobody's full of themselves. And, and uh, it was just everybody, I mean, it was my first day on the set and it was just like, come on, nice to see you. I'm like, oh, okay. It's, it makes me grin, you know? And I'm, I'm, it's nice to be in, I do a lot of these odd independent movies where, you know, you can't show them at my dad's film festival. <laughs> pretty R-rated, but uh, this is rated R for ridiculous. Yes! Yes! So it was great to have George uh, come out and be a part of, uh, so, so he's a, in s several scenes actually that kind of go over the course of the series, all shot in one day, but um, so he's got a nice, nice uh, recurring role in uh, Mayberry Man the series. So um, now let's hear from uh, Karen Knotts. Karen, uh, Don Knotts' daughter, uh, she did make it into the film, the Mayberry Man movie, uh, but she portrayed herself. She was at the festival, Mayberry Fest, and uh, was there as, as the Grand Marshal of the parade, I believe. And, um, uh, you know, representing, you know, her father, Don Knotts. But when we started talking to Karen about doing the series, she said, you know what, it would be really fun if I could play a character. And so we got the wheels started turning and start, you know, created this role for her. Uh, it's in uh, it's a supporting role in the township. So Alan Newsom, Floyd the Barber, tribute artist, his day job is he works, he's like the town manager, works in the township. And so Karen plays Janet, who works in the office. So I think she explains a little bit of that, but um so she's playing a character this time around. So that's uh, that was a lot of fun, and uh, I'll let her tell you a little more about it. None of this. Very subtle. Very and then, yeah. Well, my character Janet um, is studying jujitsu, and so the um, the people in the office, the Floyd and Barney characters. Um, she sort of finagles them into helping her out, <laughs> and they end up getting in some situations that are not quite to their liking, but they will do it to help her because she's their friend and their co-worker. I am so excited to be part of this. It's wonderful. It's like it's my dad's legacy, and now I can even be a part of that too, and work with wonderful people like all of these wonderful actors in Stark Howell and Court Howell and just everybody. It's, it's amazing. If you're a fan of The Andy Griffith Show or of my dad, Don Knotts, what you might think about this is that it is ongoing. Even though the stars are not with us anymore, most of them are not with us anymore, the characters live on. They live on in the, in the framework of these tribute artists who are keeping their memory alive, keeping Mayberry alive, the spirit of a small town that has a heart of gold and whose town folk are more important than anything else. Um, just the people themselves, the characters. And that's something that we don't see much in it anymore. And, uh, you know, television has, has become very, um, very effects-oriented and very, 
I don't know what you want to say, but it's kind of gone away from character. And this brings that character back, and it brings it back to the heart. All right. Thank you, Karen. Um, so again, we have longer interviews that someday we'll get to share with you. Um, uh, a lot of, it takes a lot of time to go through all this behind the scenes footage. Um, but I wanted to get some out to you so you could uh, get just wet the appetite on what's been going on on the set, the, the stories from our Hollywood production. Um, and there's so much more. There's uh, many more interviews. We'll, we'll continue to bring them to you on these lives. Uh, but again, I want to um, sort of shift focus a little bit and get the word out about Mayberry Man, the movie, right? Because we're going to be waiting for a little while for this series. Uh, I mean, we're not even done shooting it yet. So uh, we still have another shoot date in the future. And then uh, a lot of editing and post-production and all that stuff. Um, we are still, um, you know, welcoming new, new supporters, new contributors. If someone wants to go to Indiegogo. Uh, the website Indiegogo and um, get involved. You can still contribute and then you'll get early access to the series and DVDs, shirts, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can find that through mayberryman.com or mayberrymanseries.com. Uh, they have links that'll take you to the Indiegogo page. But um, we're shifting in, we're going to start sharing more movie stuff. And so uh, let's Take a look, because uh, if you haven't seen it in a while, it's always worth a good a, a watch. Uh, let's take a look at our Mayberry Man movie trailer. Hi, uh, Craig, give me the elevator pitch. Okay. Hey, picture this. Chris Stone is a Hollywood movie star. You're Chris Stone? Yes, thank you. I am Chris Stone. Living life in the fast lane. I didn't know it was his daughter. Mr. Stone. But all of that is about to change. All rise. You were observed driving 105 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. I'm sentencing you to Mayberry Fest. Golly! Welcome to Mayberry Fest. Have you ever heard of Mayberry Fest? Dad used to go to it every year. You know what's going to happen to me when I show up there? I'm going to get mobbed. Mr. Chris Stone. <laughs> The son of Walter Stone from season three. <laughs> yeah. Hal. No. Clay. No. Patty. Clay. I'm Chris Stone. No, that's not it. <laughs> you two are gonna love it. <laughs> Mr. Stone. Hey. We are glad to have you, Nick. Chris, you're a regular guy. How would you make a move on her? I don't think I would make a move on her. I would probably just, you know, try and get to know her first. You have really good coffee here. I don't drink coffee. Oh, okay. Why isn't there a Mr. Kate? Why isn't there a Mrs. Stone? I don't care about Mayberry Fest. I certainly don't care about Dad or his career. He's your dad, man. No, he was your dad. Too good am I. You don't understand. No, I understand. You're a bigger phony than I thought you were. There comes a time in everyone's life when things get complicated. <laughs> Mayberry isn't just a place. It's a state of mind. It's in Georgia, it's in Indiana, it's even in California. Hey, Dad, guess where I am? I'm at Mayberry Fest. Shazam! So, uh, that is, uh... The movie trailer from Mayberry Man the movie. It's currently on Amazon and soon it'll be uh, a lot more places. But I'm going to roll right into our trailer, uh, early trailer for the series. And uh, I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, coming from the movie into the, the series, uh, put your comments in about uh, if you think this sizzle reel for the series kind of holds up. They live in Mayberry. They love all things Mayberry. And when new folks visit, they fall in love too. 
from the writer and director of Mayberry Man, a new series that celebrates the spirit of Mayberry. New characters. New stories. Same Mayberry spirit. Wholesome family entertainment, just like the good old days. Mayberry Man, the series. So that was sort of our, our general audience, sort of a sizzle reel for the series. And so then I'm going to follow that with, uh, we also did sort of a romance version of our uh, trailer for the series. So take, take a look at this one. They live in Mayberry. They love all things Mayberry. And when new folks visit, they fall in love too. From the writer and director of Mayberry Man, a new series that celebrates the spirit of Mayberry with a romantic twist. Starring Brett Varvel as Hollywood leading man Chris Stone. Ashley Elaine as Mayberry Sweetheart. With Jacob Winter. And introducing Emmy Wright. A nostalgic take on modern romance. With a healthy dose of old-fashioned Mayberry spirit. Wholesome family entertainment. Just like the good old days. Mayberry Man the series. So there you go. That was to sort of uh, capitalize on sort of maybe the hallmark angle a little bit with sort of the romance uh, storylines, which there are, uh, you know, in the movie, we never, as Kate or as Ashley was saying in her little interview, um, we didn't really develop that fully. Uh, but in the series, it's all in there that the, the Chris and Kate storyline, uh, Shane has a love interest. Uh, just uh, it's much. That's the that the advantage of doing a series. You can do so much more with the characters and tell a lot more stories. So just keep sharing, keep telling people about Mayberry Man. And uh, if you don't have the movie yet, uh, grab a DVD at WeaversDepartmentStore.com uh, or head over to Amazon where you can rent it tonight. Well, hey, if you just like that clip, hit the like button. There's going to be plenty more. If you want more videos about The Andy Griffith Show, be sure to hit subscribe and click that little bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Shazam!